I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. To me, equality is everybody having the same thing, but that's not necessarily also what's fair. Everyone having the same rights and being able to live amongst each other equally. Equality and diversity, two things that Germantown High School prides itself on. And since its founding in 1910, GHS has become one of the most diverse schools in Shelby County, but it hasn't always been this way. Mary Wooldridge, Evelyn Jones, and Jerry Gardner are three of the first six African Americans who attended and integrated Germantown High School back in 1966. We were selected from the elementary school across the railroad tracks in Shelburne as the uh, uh, six students with top grades to start that integration desegregation period. Although the select few were the cream of the crop, their limits were further tested when they enrolled at Germantown High School and faced the ugly side of integration, racism. Sitting in class, spitballs in the back of my head, uh, down the hallways after changing class, uh, racial slurs. You're not welcome. That was my biggest thing, being made to feel uh, uh, not welcome. Despite the daily discrimination, they each found someone they could confide in and trust. I had the PE teacher. Her name was Mrs. Finner. She was a friend of my family, and she just took an a extra interest in me, made sure I was okay. Fast forward 50 years, Germantown High School's African-American population has tripled, and according to k12niche.com, GHS holds an A average in ethnic and economic diversity. I absolutely think that Germantown is a diverse school. I should take a class with people from five different countries. I do think it's a diverse school based on all the different clubs and activities and the things that cater to the unique interests of the entire school. Those six African American alumni, without knowing it, made a huge impact on the lives of future GHS students. Uh, I would thank them. All, everything that they've done has starting to um, improve the way that we live. Without them just wanting to go here, I will probably never have the opportunity to be here. Reporting for WMC Action News 5, I'm Deborah Noel, News 101.